Mrs. Curtin's class is going, they are going to do the canoe ride first and they are currently getting their life jackets on and then from there they'll each get equipped with one paddle. All the children will be on the boat and then for what room is left some of the parents will also be able to fit in. Each the boat can handle about 22 people. That's Mark. He's the, one of the volunteers that helps Mr. Williams. You can step on the seat. Everybody is getting on board now. That's it. Can I get a paddle? Winston? Can I get You can sit on this one. Wait, is this really? Yeah. Uh, turn around there. The front or is that the gun? I'm going to go the other way. I want to grab a chair. I want to grab a paddle. I want to grab a paddle. I think we'll leave the front one. I want to grab a paddle. The person that beats the drum. I guess I'm the whole. Let's do it. Ah! Step on the seat. That's it. And then you can see that. Hey, you pull out a boat. Here. We got pen brushes. So my once I sit Nikki sitting next to me. My phone won't go back. Spencer. Spencer. Mama! Yeah. Everybody continues to get on board. Oh, there's a bunch of algae. Hiya. I know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I think this is a free ride. Say happy field trip day. Hey, do you know what lake you're on right now? Beer Lake. Kiss your brain if you remember that. Okay, boys and girls. Oh, good. It looks like you're ready for this. <laughs> and you look like you're feeling strong because you guys are the power. Uh, I'm the steerer. You're the power. I think the should get off the boat. So <laughs> these things are paddles. I know. I don't think it's that. On a rowboat, you have oars. In the canoe, we have paddles. One hand goes on top. Let me see you put your hand on top. Like this. Yep. Oops. Hand on All right, top. guys. Uh, I'm doing this for you. Too. Got your hand on top. Good. Uh, I'm 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 All right, right. Keep looking. The hand on top is for a couple of reasons. It helps you paddle strong, and it makes sure that you're not holding it down here, and then all of a sudden you turn and you hit somebody. We don't want anybody to get hit. So keep your hand on top. The other hand goes down here. And then you lift it gently out of the water, not high, just low out of the water. Put it in, but and then pull. Look at me. Put it in in front of you and then pull toward the back of you. And that's how we're gonna go. Now you're nature detectives, so, so we're looking. We're looking up in the sky. Whoa, it looks pretty open right now. We're looking out across the lake. We're listening. And we're just seeing what we can find. But you know where we're heading. We're heading for a special place. A beach. No. what? <laughs> where the birds nest. But, but they don't have regular nests. They're nesting in the rocks. What? It's amazing. We're going to see these birds flying right into the rocks. And if we're lucky, we'll see. All right, you're untied. I'm You're untied. You're untied. You're untied. I'm so excited. Can we go? No. We're breaking the round of applause. Wait, guys. I don't know how to paddle. I need to help us in the direction. And they're off. Look at all that power. There they go. And a beautiful day on Muir Lake.
did. They're called pine trees. Oh, and so they um they keep their pine needles. Can you see the closer ones how it's not like leaves that they have? Yeah. They have pokey yeah. pine needles. We'll look for some of those later. And they make pine cones. So if you can find a pine cone or a pine needle, that would be great. Let's look for them. We're happen to run it on the hike just above where the canoe is at this time. Watch how I do it and listen for the echo. Ready? 
creek water runs under the bridge and goes all the way to the lake. Can you see the lake down over there? Yeah, I know it. All the water, yeah. all the way, and in the distance you can see the lake. Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it's lunch time for the children. <clears throat> this is Mrs. Park and Mrs. Bauer's class. <clears throat> Mrs. Curtin's class is down by the beach closer. And Mrs. Ross class is up here. And Wandering along, and if you care to listen, I will sing a happy song. I will not ask a favor, and I will not ask a fee. But if you have yourself a sandwich, don't you share it like with me? Sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper and I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all the time. Hey, you guys are really good. One more verse and then we'll sing that chorus again. Well, the sandwich may be egg or cheese or even peanut butter, but they all taste so good to me. It really doesn't matter. Jam or ham or cucumber, any kind will do. I like sandwiches. How about you? Yes, I like sandwiches. I like sandwiches. I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper and I eat them for my lunch. If I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. What? A bunch of people. Beth is obviously now playing the guitar with the, and songs with the kids. Well, I want to ask you a question. Can anybody see any critters this morning? Yeah. Now he 
another animal that would be pretty ridiculous to bring into the classroom. Your teacher is going to call on you. Willow. A horse. You know what a horse says? Are you ready to help? Let's do it. There's a horse in school. Oh no. What are we going to do? As long as there's a horse in school, you'll have to sing his alphabet too. Ready? Nay, nay, nay. more animal. Maybe one that somebody saw this morning that you know the sound. One more. Oh. I like How about that friend in the orange jacket with the green shirt? Orange jacket. No. Cooper. You. Yep, Cooper. Yep. Cooper. Cooper. You. Cooper. Cooper. You. An elephant. An elephant? <laughs> you think you could trumpet the whole ABC? Yeah. Can you pick an easier one? An elephant is just too big for the pick class. Pick a different one. Pick a different one. Yep. A monkey! Can we do a monkey? Yeah. Right, are you ready? You guys gotta do it. There's a monkey in school. Oh no! What are we going to do? As long as there's a monkey in school, you'll have to sing her alphabet too. Ready? Try it. Very good. 
right, here we go. We are marching to the river. We are marching to the beach. We are lifting up our knees and we are stepping down our feet. We're just trying to do it in fast and we're the first that we complete. The tempo march is on. Ready? Faster, 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 faster. Can you jump to this beat? Yeah. We are jumping to the rhythm. We are jumping to the rhythm. We are jumping to the rhythm. And we are jumping down the beat. With the song is singing fast. We are jumping to the tempo. Marches on. Ready? Getting their life jackets on. Life jackets on, and now Mr. Williams and Mark will be helping them in the canoe in just a moment. Okay, Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say bye there. Can you jump 
you can put one hand up on top like this. Let's see. Nope. Like this. I can't. I'm the bottom. Nope. I want you out though right now. Let's see. Up like this. On top. That's it. That's it. It's in the water. Okay. The reason for that is it helps you paddle, but also you guys looking up here with me? Good. If you're not holding it up here, you might take this and hit somebody. So you keep your hand up here so you know where it is. Other hand goes down here. Right here? Down here. And then you pick it up slightly above the water, put it in in front of you, and then pull. Pick it up gently. Put it in and pull. You guys are the power. I steer. I'm going to have some. Water. How are you going to steer? Hey, Xavier, switch your hands. Well, like I'll steer. There you go. Yep, there you go. It's that. So we're going to be looking up. We're nature detectives. We're going to be looking out. We're going to be looking down. And who knows? We might see something, we might not, but we're going to keep moving. We already see, I already see like tons of stuff in the water. Okay. Oh, I 
get you. Yeah, we got them. Okay. <laughs> I want to see. I think she got a lot of All right, guys, back there. Get back there. Oh, no. oh, one more. Everybody, one more. You're so oh, beautiful. you're in the way. This is Mrs. Bauer and Mrs. Mrs. Park's class. Oh, there he is. Taking a moment for class pictures. Oh, you'll have to send it on. I don't know how, but my daughter, my granddaughter. When are we going to show me? Okay. I said, when we're going to have my mommy. I said, I said, when we'll have to have mommy take this and send it to your teachers. I don't know how to do it. I barely know. It's already done. And then Henry's mom can send it off my phone. I don't do that. Are we ready? She's trying to get one. There we go. Got it. Got it. Okay, boys and girls on the east side. Oh, she wants to talk to us. She's one of my favorite nature friends. It's called moss. And you know what? This moss says. I am so sad. Someone pulled me away from my home. Don't pull Moss it away. Is alive. It is. It's a living plant. And when we pull it away, then it will die, which we don't want to have any. Really. So let's visit with my moss friend on the other side of the trail. You'll keep it on the pavement, and you can touch and pull it off. It's a plant. It doesn't hurt you. Jason, come here. Come on over. No, 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 no. Don't break it. It's trying to grow. Come over yeah. here and look at the moss. Don't pull on it. Feel yeah. it. Don't pull it out. Oh, Just leave it here. Oh, the girls can let him in, Winry. Don't pull let it him out. squeeze in, baby. Not pull it out. She just, just touch it. Just touch it. If you pull it out, it dies. It's a living thing. That's a bug. And now we can see. Mrs. Ross, Hello. class Hello. in the boat, Hello. looking down Hello. from Echo Rock. They are making very good time. They just did a turnaround. I think they were trying to find the point where the swallows nest in the side of the rocks. They go. Yeah. Now we're back with the hike for Mrs. Park and Mrs. Bauer's class. Okay, boys and girls, gather around so we can learn why this is called the echo. Let's go. She wants to talk to you. Come close. Can you let why this is called Echo Rock Trail. Put your hands down. You all know what a rock is, right? That's easy. But do you know what an echo is? So I'm going to show you how an echo works. Hands down. Hands down. Um, so this is how an echo works. Boys and girls, look at me and pretend that you are a rock. You're going to be like the echo rock. Whatever rock face, whatever kind of face you think a rock makes, <laughs> that's the face I want you to make. But you have to stand still because rocks can't move, right? Bella, Bella, leave them So I'm going to be the sound of the word high, and I'm going to show you how an echo works. So watch my hand. I say high. Rocks have to be still or I can't show you what happens. I say hi and look, the sound wave goes and the sound moves in waves, did you know that? And the sound travels until it hits against boop, the rock. And you know what happens then? What? It bounces back. 
and the sound wave travels back to my ear and I hear it again. In an echo, we hear the sound two times. Would you guys like to try that out? Yeah. One at a time? Okay, so make a, a straight line um, right in front of me. One behind the other. You stand right here. There's not room right here, so go to the back. Yes, this is the first person in the line. You go to the back. We're in the right place. Well, I can't wait to hear your echoes. Come and bash to me. You're not in the right place. Laura and Bella, you need to go to the end. Are you in line, Laura, here? Oh, she does want to line now. Yep. Every, every child is going to get a chance. Oh, no. They're far away again. All right, here's how the echo works, boys and girls. You are going to have a chance to hear your own echo. So when it is your turn, you have to use a loud voice. But when it is not your turn, you have to be totally quiet. So I'm gonna show you how you take your turn. You have to point your mouth towards the cliff wall that's on the other side of the water. And you're gonna choose a short, word to say nice and loud, a word that has only one clap, like ha. So I will show you how it works, but remember, you have to be totally quiet when it's not your turn. Right. And then everyone will get a turn one at a time. No so I'm facing my body this way, watch me. Listen. Hi! Did you hear the echo? Yeah! Okay, so everyone's going to try that. Okay, now you come to the back. I'm going to give the next person a chance. Come stand over here. When it's your turn, so your turn is right. Get really loud. Hi. Ah! I heard an echo. Good job. That's the end of the line. Oh, hi! Hi! You heard the echo, but you got to keep your feet on the ground, okay? Go into the back.
These are paddles. In a rowboat, you have oars. And in a canoe, you have paddles. Okay, he's looking up at me. Sit down, you're not listening to him. Oh, sure. Put one hand on top like this. Put one hand on top. Cooper. Let me see. One up here. Look up, Mrs. Barr. Like this? Up on top? Yeah, right there. Like this? That's going to be back there. You're up here. Can I get, oh yeah, up front here. The other hand goes down here. This, keep looking up here at me. This hand stays there, so you always know where your end is, so that you're not down here. And then this is Mrs. Curtin's class, and caught up with them on their hike just a little bit late. Um, so I missed them. We missed them doing their echo, but. They are on their hike now. Okay, boys and girls, I know that Miss Curtin is not here right now, but if she saw that some of you are not being good listeners, I think she would feel sad. So as we're going on this next part of the hike together, we are going on a trail that is very narrow. And I can only... Samuel. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, there, so there's a part that's very narrow and we have to be, make sure that we're being really good listeners and walking really slow and careful. So raise your hand if you can be a good listener on this show. Raise your hand if you can keep your body behind my body. Listen. So as we go down to the skinny trail, I want you to look for the new plants that are growing and then when we get to Echo Rock, we're going to make one line with all the grown-ups and all the kids and we'll go around the rock, okay? This is not Echo Rock. Girls, when we go around Echo Rock, the trail is very narrow, so I like how you're making a straight line. It's really nice. When we are on the narrow part of the trail, you are going to be so close. And the rock is so beautiful. So we'll walk slow and careful and pass it now. Thank you so much. Hey, I'll go follow mom. So when we go on the other part of the trail, you're going to see some 
like it really close up. And so be nice and gentle to it. There's a lot of different colors of light. Is it gentle? Yeah. All right, shall we continue? Yeah. 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 Goes this way. But raise your hand if you would still like to go on the bridge and look down and see what we can see. I'd like to do that too. So we can use water. Go to the middle and check out the Okay, all right, boys and girls. 